Hey everyone, this is Grant Ingersoll, CTO of LucidWorks. It's SIG IR, uh, that time of year again where all the uh, researchers and search get together and share their findings. One of the things I do every year as soon as I get all of the publications is, guess what, put all the data into the search engine. So I thought I would do that here as well, but this time I'm going to record it and actually build a little application. So. I'm going to do that with LucidWorks Fusion and LucidWorks App Studio. You can go download them from our websites. I'm actually showing you a slightly newer version that's just about to be released, but don't worry, it'll be available shortly. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to first log in to Fusion. And you'll see that right off the bat, we ask you, hey, do I, I want to create an application. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to call it SIGIR. I'm going to hit the create app that usually takes a little bit of time. We're setting up things like default collections, default pipelines, essentially all of the tools that go into processing your data, making it ready for prime time. So now I've got my application. So let's get started. What I've done just to show you real quick is I've uploaded all of the content from the SIG IR USB. So all the PDFs into a folder here uh, you can see down here in my drive and so what i want to do is i'm going to come in and i need to get that data into fusion so i'm going to go to what we call the index workbench i'm going to hit new and i know what type of data source i want i'm going to use the local file system i'm going to hit add new i'm going to pass in the path to that If I typed it right, I think that all should be good. So let me hit apply. Fusion goes off and samples that data for you so that you can get a sense of what's in the data. Uh, since this is PDFs, there's a lot of metadata attached to it. But you can see here, there's this body field that essentially contains the core content. There's also all kinds of different things. So this immediately gives you a sense in Fusion of what's going on in the data. Of course, I can go look at more advanced settings here. I can play around with pipelines. So for instance, one of the things we try to do in Fusion is handle all content to the best of our knowledge as it comes in. And then of course, you can iterate on things, right? So for instance, you'll notice that there's these dynamic fields in here like author underscore S and author underscore T. If you're familiar with solar, you know this is a dynamic field uh, capability. And essentially we're saying, treat this as a string field. In other words, don't tokenize. Whereas the text field says, do tokenize that. So for instance, if I wanted to turn that off, I could just unclick that and, or uncheck that. And now you can see all of those have gone away. Pros and cons to doing that, but at the end of the day, you know, we want to make the search facetable. We want to make it searchable. So I'm going to leave it on and then I'm going to hit apply. Off we go. We resample. And so you see right away in Fusion, there's this kind of lather, rinse, repeat approach to working with your data. If I wanted to, for instance, add in something like language detection on that body field, I could come in here. I could select what fields. I want to search on and, or uh, detect on, for instance, the body field. And I want to output that to the document as well. And immediately you see now there is this body underscore language field attached to it. So this all looks good to me. Let me hit save. I'm not trying to do anything earth shattering here. Just get this content from this conference that I'm at searchable so that I can interact with it throughout the day as I'm at talks, etc. So let's actually go index it. I'm going to hit the start job button and away it goes. So we're going to let that run for a little bit. And the way I can keep a monitor on that is actually switch over here to the query workbench. This is all part of the Fusion admin UI. This is designed for search developers 
to interact with the content, to make decisions around how and what they do in a particular application. So you can see, for instance, I've already got content into Fusion. I could again play around with the query pipelines. So those are the equivalent on the query side of the index pipelines on the indexing side. And I could make the, you know, make changes to how requests are processed. But what I'm going to do instead is switch over to our App Studio product. This is a, a front-end design tool that allows you to very quickly build applications. Right? So I've started this up. It, it runs alongside Fusion. You can see it's pretty straightforward to get started. There's this wizard-based approach. I'm going to hit the next button. I'm connected. I'm going to type in my password, assuming that I can type properly. I'm authenticated. Great. No, I don't want to save. Look at that. I've got my application. This is the query profile. This is how I'm going to have this application, this front end, talk to the back end of Fusion. We use the defaults here. That all looks good to me. What we try to do in App Studio is guess things that we think are most likely to help you get on your way. We then take and analyze some of the data in the system and immediately start to help you make decisions. So for instance, if I want to display the title of uh, in my application, I can just come in here. We try to make good guesses about it. It's not always perfect as you might expect, but it does a pretty good job usually. So I'm gonna hit next and then you can see here, I want to set a description to go with it. We give you a little sample of what's going on here. Essentially, I've got the title and now I've got the body field. Let's hit next there. If I want to facet on anything, I can certainly do that here. In fact, why don't I try to find, if I can, the author field because authors usually make for good facets in this. So need to go dig in on where that's going on don't actually see it. So uh, I probably have to do that as a follow-up. Maybe I want to do it on dates or other things. You can make decisions about that as you go. And of course we can change this later as we see fit. So I'm not going to do anything there. And I'm just going to call this then SIGIR search 101. Oh, and hey, let's use, I don't know, uh, what is that, an aqua theme? Save and launch the app. That takes a little bit of time. Basically, we compile all of the choices you made into a small application, and then voila, I have my search application. So if I wanted to, for instance, search for something like learning to rank, I can go do that. The other cool thing you can do in App Studio is actually edit the code in line. So maybe in another video, I'll show how to do that. But as you can see, I've basically gone from zero to search in a couple minutes. Data in, exploring the data, making decisions about the data, and actually building a UI. So that's it. Thank you very much.